Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Double Fault File. I'm finally back, and this time it's not a drill. It's the real deal. I just can't stay away from the digital and social media platforms when it comes to this wonderful sport of tennis. With that said, let's dive into today's content, a preview analysis of the Madrid WTA 1000 semifinal clash between Iga Spiantec and Madison Keys. My apologies for any mispronunciation of Iga's surname. It's really not easy, but what is easy is the tennis played by this young Polish talent. The way she plays is simply impressive, at just 22 years old with a whole career ahead of her. Today, she dispatched Beatriz Haddad Maya, another great fighter who plays some serious tennis. Schweintek managed to turn the tide from 4 to 6 in the first set to a resounding 6 to 0 in the second, and then closed out the match in the third set with a 6 to 2 scoreline. Resilience and focus are the words that come to mind. On the other side, we have Madison Keys, who also won her match coming from behind against Tunisian Ons Jabber, losing 0 to 6 in the first set, but then turning it around to win 7 to 5 and 6 to 1. It's been quite a week for the American, making it to her first quarterfinal since the U.S. Open. With that said, let's get into the analysis. In head-to-head -head matchups, Iga leads 2-1, with victories in Rome 2021 and Indian Wells 2022. Keys win came in a brilliant match in Cincinnati against a sharp Schweintek who was riding high on several titles in her career best year. On that occasion, Keys left everything on the court and made very few mistakes. Now, let's break down the strengths and weaknesses of each player, starting with the American world number 20, Madison Keys. On the positive side, Keys has a great serve, both first and second. In these altitude conditions in Madrid, having a strong serve makes all the difference as the ball travels faster. Combined with her fast, flat shots, Keys' serve can be a formidable weapon in her game. Another positive aspect for Keys is her ability to handle second serves and turn them into winners. This could be crucial in the semifinal match against these two players. On the negative side, we have the number of unforced errors. While Keys hits many winners, it can be costly when it comes to unforced errors, especially against very consistent players like the world number one. Therefore, I believe her excessive aggression and difficulty in moving along the baseline could be negatives for the American player. With that said, let's analyze Iga Spiantek's points. One can't help but praise the mental aspect of the world number one's game. She simply seems unbeatable when her mind is in the right place. Additionally, Iga's baseline strokes are very strong, especially on clay, her favorite surface. Her defense is also a major positive and could impact this match as Iga makes very few errors and forces many opponent errors. What more can we say about Iga? The Polish player is simply a tennis phenomenon. However, she does have negatives, with the main one being weakness on the second serve. On clay, this weakness isn't as exposed as on hard courts, but it could still be a gap for the American to exploit in the semifinal. Additionally, we all know that Schweintek doesn't like playing against flat hitters, which explains her head-to-head -head record against Yelena Ostapenko. Iga struggles against this type of player, and it could complicate her game. With that said, let's get to my pick. I can't help but choose Iga Schweintek as the winner of this semifinal, and I give her an 85% chance of victory. She's a strong favorite in this match, and I believe that on a good day, She'll defeat the American in straight sets and advance to the final, aiming for her first title in Madrid. So, I hope you've enjoyed my comeback and missed me. We'll see each other more often around here. Until next time. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the analysis. Thanks.